Good day, good evening guys, happy to see you. Today we're gonna review a new game that's called Frost Rain. Neat game and liked many features but there were some issues. Point to note, not necessary pros and cons. Try to play the game without going throughout the tutorials and I managed going to the end in the first try. Just goes to show the UE is pretty self-explanatory, at least for me. Should try out different rain combination in the next runs. There could be a potion where I can click on a card and it stick with my pointer razor the dragging and dropping it every time. It could be a video option to disable or reduce the show VFX and the frosty crack around the borders of screen or reduce them in terms of opacity. It seems caused some shutters when the number of trains cars grew. My PC is pretty good in terms of performers and if it can shutter that I can say the game might need some more optimization for the graphics. So far I have played it with Academy cards. It has really cool vibe but success or failure is very random and you get nothing for failure. You also get nothing for winning unless you can do it multiple times. After about 10 runes I only won once and it felt like it was matter or just getting good enough for luck to push me over the line. If RNG doesn't favor you, it simply isn't possible to win. A player just doesn't have much agency at all. Player for 5 hours unlocked all conductors. It's a fun game to play throughout. The first run will most likely fail and even in a good run and single wrong decision will be destroyers. I personally did not find anything of AE art in the game, neither the train, the background, the map or the even screen look AE to me. But look and decide for yourself, it's free after all, collect me if I am wrong. Really interesting demo, with Frostpunk, Snowpiercer's vibes. The onboarding could be improved and I found that quite a few things were not properly explained. Allowing us to mouse over certain keywords and offer a tooltip with extra information and context could be a solution. A forgiving roguelike with a dark settings, it has a lot of potential. This game is so fun for me. Obviously, the learning curve is somewhat step, but it makes you learn to use all the trains to find something that works. I've only been able to complete two runs so far in my 15 plus attempts, but I just keep coming back for more. The tutorial is pretty straightforward, but the magic is in the fact that it's up you to figure things out. And I really did that about this game, considering this game is free. Great game especially for a free game. It's currently a demo so most likely will have a cost while there is more content. The game have a great feeling when you finally complete a run as the end part can be quite brutal. A few tweaks will be nice, primarily thinking about the plus one happiness for a click a pop up but when you end in a 2000, getting a single is just not worth the effort. The map is currently static, so some roads just feel stronger than others. Throughout for a demo this is fine, just hoping the developer will make it a random generated map in the future. They have multiple character planets, so stay tuned for Zeus. So if you read into this review, give the game a shot. For a demo this get across the core game play loop, I'm looking forward to the full release if any. Basically you travel from left to right across the map and explore nodes similarly to faster than light but it doesn't it real time with a pause and speed up function. Each new mode you explore rewards to with a new train car which is represented by a card in your hand. There is a wide variety of cars to customize the train and add synergies and buffs with other trains cars. You are limited to how many active cars can be attached to your train depending on your conductor level and you can hold up to 8 spare cars in your hand. These mechanics give you a lot of tactile flexibilities and adaptability because you can swap out your train cars at any time with one in your hand. So having spare train can in your hand do specific things like increase the speed of train to explore more nodes or escape from hazards quickly or provide a massive buff to production happiness to survive your joiner throughout hazard. I spent almost 3 hours and cleared the game several times in those hours but played repeatedly to experience other current synergies 
for my train. If you're curious about it, you'll figure out if you like it within 20 minutes. Recommended to experience because while it may be light on the story, it is fairly deep with its gameplay elements and look forward to more train cars and new synergies. Maybe even a large map with more nodes and a higher level cap to go with it to make more complex train and synergies to survive. Waiting for more updates or the full game. Great progress for just a two months development. Good luck. Thank you for watching guys. See you later. Goodbye.